Yes, yes. Nine gen coming this month. Eight calls, baby. Woo! Champs, let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you there. Now I did say I'd warn you. When the new stuff's coming out, I'll warn you. Little Birdie has told me this month the ninth generation CPUs are coming out for, you know, your 15-inch gaming laptops, XPS 15, Razors, whatever. Just anything 15-inch with a 45-watt 6-core processor, there will be new ninth generation versions. Coffee Lake Refresh. Now, there are two key reasons you don't want to buy now. I'll get to that in a sec. Make sure you stay tuned. Now, we already know that they're going to have an 8-core CPU that probably will be the i9 and maybe there may be one i7 that has it as well and it may not have hyper threading this is not to tell you what the cpu is this is just to warn you do not buy now because i can expect the replacement for the i7 8 h which is pretty much the backbone of every 15 inch laptop i can expect the replacement for that to be able to get higher clock speeds so it may have eight cores but even if it has six maybe the i9 is the only eight core that doesn't matter what matters is that is capped at 3.9 pretty much when you game you're not going to get over 3.9 unless it's like some single threaded game that doesn't use many cores but with these new ones we should be able to get clocks over four gigahertz and i wouldn't be surprised at all if there is a version that has five gigahertz what i mean by that it'll have an asterisk you know five gigahertz single core your cpu has to be under 50 degrees or something like that you know in reality you'll probably be only able to burst the 4.6 or maybe 4.8 but it might say 5 gigahertz on the spec sheet because technically it's possible it may be a little bit of power efficiency gains and with that there may be less heat it's not going to be a big deal it is a coffee lake refresher and we know their refreshes are just little tweaks but it may remove a little bit of the bottleneck of the CPU, which is pretty much the bottleneck with these RTX laptops. The CPU needs to clock faster to get more out of these RTX laptops. And of course, they have to clock faster while not being out of control with the heat. But I did review like a SCAR that would do 3.9 the whole time when I was gaming. So it's possible with the new CPUs, I'll be able to get over 3.9. Now, Little Birdie told me they're coming out this month. They're imminent. They're just going to drop very soon. And the two key reasons why you don't want to buy now is, one, the prices should be the same. All right, there'll be a markup at the start, but that price will soon drop and it will probably level out at the same price they are now. So you don't want to be paying full price for the current CPU when in the next few days you can get the new CPU because the price of those ones will drop. And that's the second reason. It may not be that big of a deal. For some people... You use multi cores, it will be in some circumstances for some games, it will make a difference. But I would say for a lot of people, it won't make that much difference at all. So, what happens is the current models that are out now they drop in price because everybody wants the new one, so they'll be slashing the prices of those, they'll be getting them out. And did you see Dell had like a 30% up to 30% sale on their website? Might be just trying to clear stock in anticipation for these new CPUs. So, yeah, I always said I'll tell you. Give me a thumbs up champs. I'm trying to look out for you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho.